Monday morning. We wish we could be doing something different. Baby will be here in less than a few weeks, like two weeks. So we're really trying to get things done. Um, I think we've said that probably about every single movie. So I, I think know. Like, I'm going to be working on getting the curtains done for this other side of the bus. I'm going to be painting all the window frames like how I did it over here. Um, just to help kind of create more of like a homey vibe. Um, we were originally going to put wood there. Um, but things kind of got complicated. And it's my thanks. I decided that I didn't want to <laughs> put wood there. So I'm painting. Um, meanwhile, Justin, yeah, is working on <laughs> on this really beautiful front portion of the bus. Um, we're gonna be putting up some shelves that I used to use for my business and my vending setup, um, and putting plywood on the back and getting that closed up so that it is finished. to make some changes to the shelf because it was too tall for where we were going to put it so we just had to remove the top pieces and replace them with these new boards. putting a couple pieces of wood here as sort of like a stud um, so that when we put our plywood up against here we have something to attach it to and if we want to down the road we can add little cabinets in here too but for now I think this will work and I am finishing to paint a little bit stuff white and I'm gonna put some brackets here and here so that we can have a shelf here for storage for all my business supplies another day and I'm gonna finish um, the finish of this little coffee table bedside table um, that we have in the living room well bedroom slash living room I don't even know so the way we budget is using jaws and so we've been collecting all these pennies with the hopes that there'll be enough to cover this entire surface and then we'll polyurethane it um, so I am going to start gluing these down today and hopefully they come out looking fly. So let's roll. <laughs> What are you working on? Uh, just cleaning up the battery terminals. Um, I let these batteries go way lower on water than I should have. Maintenance to lead adds acid batteries. You have to add water to them every now and again. And so now that I've got them all jacked out of here, I figure I might as well go ahead and brush off these. This corrosion. Whenever we get that new battery bank, I need to think about. It should be lithium, right? <sighs> I wish. So basically, been some oh, weird fun yeah, there's some weird electrical stuff that's been going on with the bus. So all electrical is still working, um, but like the fridge has been kind of not staying as cold as it should, as well as the freezer is kind of unfrozen. Well, it has something to do with when the inverter jumps from battery power to grid power. So there's like, yeah. when it switches in between, there's like a 
flicker. Half of a second that it takes to switch in between the two. And when it does that, that's when kind of things, the refrigerator, when it's running, it'll shut off and then it won't come back on. And so it doesn't keep temperature like it's supposed to. And the lights flick on and off. Yeah, we've had a lot of that happening. And you can hear like some beeps that go on and off. Yeah. So there's two everything. things that I think are causing it. One, I didn't fill the water up like I'm supposed to normally, like regularly on these lead acid batteries. I haven't been treating them very well. Um, I mean, I haven't been discharging them too much, but I should have filled them up with water a long time ago. There's that. And then there's also some programming on the inverter that I need to, that I changed. So I'm gonna change it back and see if everything goes back to normal. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. These things are heavy as shit. <laughs> you look like a tomato face. <laughs> talk about my tomato face. <laughs> so hopefully we'll have four batteries eventually so we'll be able to hold a higher amount of energy because we've also not really been able to hold that much energy. These batteries were reused from a friend of mine's old system. And so they're fine batteries, but they're certainly like everything that I got for this solar system was intended for a design that would like handle us for three days. So the only limiting factor is our battery bank, which is kind of a big deal. But getting a new battery bank to the size that we want is also not cheap either. By the way, side note, babe, you left, you logged some more in the bus. I didn't find her until this afternoon, Which like one, literally a couple of hours ago. Your yeah, oh, shit, she bad. must have been in there all night. Make sure she didn't I feel walked, me. I walked past the, I walked past that door, and she was like, <laughs> she's like scratching on the door desperately. Oh yeah, <laughs> she normally sure she doesn't do stuff me. like that. Poor thing, she was so savage to come outside. I remember last night too. The Mora. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot. Hi, Mama. Come here. The whole time I was messing with the honey in there, she was literally sitting <laughs> hanging in the out. Oh.